So you hate NFTs and you probably clicked on this video to either learn a little bit more or comment more negative things about this on this video. Now, before you do, I'm actually aware of all the negative things about NFTs because I'm actually replying to some of the hate comments on my last video about crypto. And hopefully we can talk about some stuff and maybe agree to disagree. Alexander asks, I don't understand art with NFTs. What's going on with that? Now, I'm going to be making some tea as we speak. So poor beverage. I actually don't understand a lot of the technology. I was pretty against it last year, actually. The main thing was because I just didn't understand it. Like I would, you know, buy Bitcoin, but I did not understand NFTs until probably nine months ago when I just started to join a couple of Discord groups. And I realized NFTs are nothing more than selling art on a digital database, basically, where everyone can see who owns this piece of art. It's kind of like a digital signature. So if you're an artist, right, and you create a beautiful piece of work, say you sell beautiful pieces of porcelain plates, you can only have one of them if you look at it, but you can create digital versions of it. So maybe there's 10 of them. And if someone owns one of these digital plates, everyone knows it's like verified because of something called the blockchain. So it's kind of like a digital signature. It's a way to verify it. But I think a lot of people get misunderstood with NFTs as a scam because it is literally, it doesn't make sense. It's like a digital art piece. You know, why can't you just screenshot it? Like, why can't you literally just take a picture of this plate and say that I own this plate from this artist? Now you can do that. You can take a picture of this plate, but it doesn't give you access to a Justin Bieber concert ticket. Like what if this plate, if you own the NFT, you get access to concerts, group chats, special clubs with Taylor Swift. So that's what an NFT is. It's not just art on blockchain, but the art can be programmable. It can do whatever you want it to do. And sometimes creators put utility on that NFT. And if you have a screenshotted version of it, you just won't get in. So that's what an NFT is on a high level. Now let's go into some more questions. Okay, so Patrick Zanali says, I think Axel's smarter than that. He's not trying to milk his audience of money this quick, especially through NFTs. So if you guys don't know, I made a whole video about NFTs ideas I would do if I was Emma Chamberlain famous, basically. One of the people I did an idea for, for an NFT collection was Axel Weber, who's a very famous TikToker right now. And I said Axel should make an NFT collection for his movie because he's an aspiring actor. But anyways, Patrick, I can see why you think Axel wouldn't want to milk his audience, but he's only trying to milk his audience if his NFT collection doesn't actually have value, right? So, you know, if Axel said you buy this NFT, like Axel token, and you know, with it you get access to, I don't know, my premiere, my movie. Well, that would be kind of lame and maybe that would not provide real value. But for example, if he actually provided value in his token, like you can be a background character in my movie, you can get exclusive merchandise, you get all these real life things. Like if it's valuable, then I don't see it as milking. But I know 99% of projects are people scamming people. I think another comment I got is NFTs are the biggest scam ever. And I totally agree, 99% of projects are. Again, I'm not like super excited about NFTs as like a revolutionary tool. Like I think it's just cool and new and I think creators can leverage it to make money and also help their audience also make money. Like it's, it's a mutual thing. You know, I understand that there's way more scams and good projects. And I just think people should be aware about that. So I'm not defending that. I think that's pretty true. Now I know <laughs> Patrick, you got two comments here. Um, Patrick says there's a difference between being an actor and making a movie. And I think for Axel Weber, I would say he wants to be an actor and you don't actually have to make the movie himself. Like he could say, you know, hey guys, if someone helps me shoot the video, produces the film, I'll gift you an NFT, right? So I just think he doesn't need Juilliard in order to achieve his dreams of making in Hollywood. My friend actually named Mia, she is working on a DAO called Filmmaker DAO. And she's literally, you know, getting actors and writers and producers grants so they can make movies. So this is already happening in crypto. Um, I just think Axel could do a great job with that and my tea is almost ready i don't have any glasses because all of them are literally dirty so i'm gonna use a bowl i'm gonna use a bowl to make my tea the next question we got um or hey comment is you could literally do this on kickstarter or patreon without killing the environment or working with a scam company so Ryan, 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 Ryan. I have totally read every single article about killing the environment. And I think people forget that what they're referring to is Ethereum. And there's so many other currencies slash blockchains you can mint on that are more energy efficient, like Polygon. I currently run a climate change startup. Like literally, trust me, like I do a lot of research on carbon emissions and like Ethereum versus Polygon, which is just another blockchain you can mint on is like 
a thousand times more efficient and, and it has like no harm. You know, we can talk about carbon emissions all the time and see which blockchain is more efficient, but you have to also understand that like humans are energy intensive creatures. Like if we really want to be energy efficient, we should stop watching YouTube videos, right? Because the servers take a lot of energy or stop using washing machines. I've done a lot of research that washing machines in the US take more energy um, emissions than for example, Bitcoin or like any currency. So I personally do a lot of research and it's personally important for me to be energy mindful and carbon neutral at least and yeah you could mint a project on Kickstarter and patreon but those servers and computers take energy like that you know patreon's a 500 person company like it takes a lot of maybe gas to get to the building and the platform itself runs on servers nothing is truly carbon neutral we can always do our best to be more energy mindful but the truth is every single social media platform takes energy and we as humans take energy okay Chris Harton says none of your ideas require any blockchain technology why complicate to things this is a really good question i think first of all you're right like none of my ideas about you know axel making a movie using nfts or emma chamberlain creating a club where if you hold the nft you get cool products from louis vuitton and levi's and if you guys haven't watched that video you guys should it will give context to this video but it doesn't require a blockchain and the truth is the reason why i'm making that video is because i wanted to tell people every single thing in web 2 will have a web 3 version or every single thing in the internet will have a crypto version it just it's just gonna happen right like every platform will have a crypto product like Instagram just launched NFTs as a marketplace and Twitter just launched a way for you to verify your profile picture with NFTs we're living in an age where everything will be re like not replaced by crypto but will be moving in a direction where there just be two options and you don't have to do crypto like you don't have to do NFTs to be successful at all I just think it's a great opportunity for a early artists like if you are someone who maybe missed the boat in monetizing and the creator economy this is a great opportunity and two if you're poc or lgbtq plus or just you know any minority i think this is a great opportunity for us like i'm asian i'm female there's not a lot of women in crypto as much as you know white males and i think that's so empowering you know obviously i made that video for emma and axel and kirsten but i also wanted to make it for a creator that maybe is just curious about ideas for their own collection crypto and nfts has such a big hype like it is hype it's not going to last for ever but if you're someone that's just like curious about it and you are an artist like it's a huge opportunity and like none of my ideas require blockchain but will these ideas be empowered and probably blow up because of blockchain probably just because a lot of people have money in crypto right now and they want to just put money in, in projects and that's why i actually made nf treehouse which is my climate change company where we plant trees with creators and they're minted as nfts and we do this on polygon which again is more energy efficient like by a thousand times percent but the reason why i did this on crypto which i didn't need to do this on crypto like i'm aware I could have done this like on an e-commerce website or whatever. Uh, but the reason why I did this is just because there's so much money in Web3 crypto. I would be dumb to not leverage a project. The way I see it is I could either see all these crypto projects and complain, or I can see, you know, crypto as a great fundraising tool and say like, there's so much dumb money flowing into these projects. Why not flow it into a project that can actually empower the earth and, you know, help communicate climate action. So that's the reason why I did it, but no, it does not require it and you don't have to do that. So those are my two cents. Boo -doo -boo -doo -doo -boo. All right, my tea is ready. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I spilled some tea on NFTs. Go subscribe to the podcast if you haven't already on Spotify. It's called I'm Not an Expert. Um, so you guys can listen to my episodes, my YouTube videos on the go. And thank you guys for listening. Shout out to the comment winner. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.